So I've been in your lab. I did the experiment. So I, I already know what this is, but um, I, I have no idea. Like I, when I was there, I was blown away from all the, the gear that you guys have and you have like all this electronic stuff that, uh, um, and, and cameras and it was fascinating. Um, can you, so that who is watching the video uh, can have an idea of like, what is that you can do in that lab? Can you explain a little bit what you can measure and what gear you have in the, in the lab? Yeah, sure. So we do have a, a lot of, uh, a lot of gear. So we can actually start by studying the full movement. So it's called uh, motion analysis. It's the same type of um, material that you have in the cinema and uh, also in video games where we capture the movement of the person and in cinema, video games, they can put that movement and um, do like a, an anime character and which uh, who has the, the same movement of the of, as the person in our case we want to study more the movement of the bones so it's the same material but what we are interested in is measuring for example the knee flexion extension uh, the ankle flexion flexion extension uh, and such so this is a more global type of measurements that we do uh, in the lab and then we can go further and further into the mechanisms of the movement so for example we can measure how the muscles activate so what is the the amount of electricity which goes into the muscles and which creates the activation and then the contraction which, which provokes the movement. This is super interesting for me because you basically have an internal view of what I've been trying to understand from the outside through exercises and lessons and, and, and all the stuff that I've been doing. Um, but then my question would be why like why is it important for you like how does it work that you through this type of um, analysis you can come up with uh, certain results and, and, and certain uh, theories or, or, or um, how you would say like uh, understanding what's happening like why is it important for you to understand the speed of the electric electricity in the body like it's very complicated for uh, maybe I'm not that smart, so it's very complicated for me. But I think it's, it might be complicated for also for like the average drummer who just you know we play drums. You have no idea what's happening. People be, might be saying, "Oh, we have electricity in our body. That's crazy." Yeah, yeah. So the the thing that, for example, for two athletes, you will have one athlete with, which who have a great performance, and another athlete who have a little less performance and also who, for example, uh, hurt uh, himself. He got an injury, uh, I don't know, in the hamstring or such. So the measurements for us will give us the answers to wh whether there are, for example, some choices that the athlete does which provoke uh, this injury. So, for ex so it's called muscle coordination, for example, um, we we show we we showed that um, during sprinting, if you have a certain type of movement of the pelvis during sprinting, you can hurt yourself on the long term. So it's uh, for football players, uh, for um, sprinters, uh, etc. So there is like a kinematic and the kinematic analysis gave us the answer to whether there is a preferred posture that can um, do less damage or more damage. So that's why we do a lot of measurements. It's to compare the persons um, between each other, between groups of persons. So for the drumming part, it's uh, experts uh, against uh, beginners, for example. And we can uh, dissociate the good behav behaviors and the bad behaviors. So that's why we need uh, so much data. Right on. Yeah, yeah. It makes it makes perfect sense because I was just like thinking like how um, how is this data like transferring us information that it, we can actually use? But then you're saying we compare this between 
different subjects and then we will see whoever like we'll find correlation of whoever is pressing more in one way or whoever is pressing more in another way it causes a different thing so this is amazing because this is i think this is a, a, a super important thing this is a breakthrough in drumming uh in my opinion because i don't i never heard anybody doing what you're doing so yeah it's not so in the musical uh, to do like a uh, movement analysis with you you have a lot uh, some studies for vi violin um, players because they have such an asymmetric posture and they hurt themselves in the back. So there are some, some kinematics analysis on them. But uh, otherwise, yeah. there is also another lab in, uh, in Canada uh, called the Drummer Lab, uh, who, who is uh, analyzing more energy expenditure of drummers. So it's very important also to be able to measure the amount of energy that they consume during uh, playing. And I was thinking also something which can be interesting in drumming in drummers is comparing the left side and the right side because it is something we can do like for example explaining why um during mostly the ankle technique why you have uh, less uh, maybe um, a more stiff uh, ankle than the other so we can quantify that and uh, propose to the drummer like the the report of its uh, his uh, analysis yeah, because that's also a super fascinating topic for me. Just like, like how is the body developing and and like the behavior compared to right and left, and also how that can be different. Like the right hand, I feel like more like right-handed, but left-footed. Like when I used to play football when I was a kid, I did everything with my left foot. So my foot, I guess, uh, and I didn't have a lot of issues in developing my left foot technique, but then my left hand is kind of like, it does some things, but I cannot write. I'm not left handed. So it's such a mixed thing. So, um, I don't know if there's like, you can also, I know now you're focusing more on like uh, the ankle technique specifically. And so this, uh, research is, is uh, towards that uh, end, but I hope that this, you know, will become that we can use you more <laughs> and as much as possible. Um, to, to answer all of these questions also on the right-left uh, situation of the body and coordination and all that. 